gonna beat. Okay, so when it comes to macOS 13 Ventura, we all know that this update is certainly going to be delayed by slightly over a month. But today we do have a new update for macOS 13. And as you can see for me on my Mac here, I have beta 6. And this update is minor as it is. It does have some new features and changes and improvements. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you all there is to know about this update. My name is Ben and this is half men half tech. Okay, so first things first, as you can see here on the Apple developer page, on the 23rd, they released iOS 16 beta 7 and they also released iPadOS 16 beta 7. Now, with this iPadOS 16 beta 7, it's actually iPadOS 16.1 because we iPadOS 16 is going to be delayed and released almost slightly a month later than iOS going to be released maybe at the same time they released mac os 13 and then of course we have mac os 13 beta 6 that just came out today and watch os 9 beta 7 i did do a video on that already and tv os 16 beta 7 most of these updates i do cover here on the channel at half men half tech so if that's something that interests you and you want to keep up to date and know what your os has and what are the new changes certainly do subscribe on the channel so that you don't miss out now i have already updated my device so as you can see here the version that we have is 13.0 and the beta build is 22A5331F so this takes us two steps back once again going further to confirm that this mac os 13 is a delayed update because on the previous beta which was beta 5 the build number that we had was 22a 321d so we went from a d build to an f which is two steps back and of course this update does have some new features and new changes that it has to offer and the first one that i have to show you has to do with bootcamp so bootcamp is an app that allows you to run windows on mac and as you can see for me here if i go to the bootcamp assist here and go to the about section you can see the version that i have is 6.1.0 and this is because Apple Silicon Macs do not officially support Windows. However, if you do have an Intel based Mac, your bootcamp version has been updated to 6.1. 0.16 and this is basically a bug fix update that replaces the previous update which was 6.12 so the previous update resolved some issues that had to do with wireless connectivity such as wi-fi and bluetooth but the update that you get if you have an intel based mac 6.1.16 has to do with bug fixes and performance enhancement and for display settings that were missing for some users so that's good for those that have, have intel max and are testing out mac os 13 beta 6 once again let's close this and then i want to show you also another app that has been updated with some major updates so you can see that this is safari and if you go to the about safari here you will see that the version has been also incremented so the version we used to have on beta 5 was 16.0 and the build that we had on the previous beta 5 was 18614.1.25.11.0 one one dot one so the version has also been updated on beta 6 and now we are officially testing the beta of safari 16.1 so as you can see here it's version 16.1 and the build is 18614.2.1.1.0 1 so this is now safari 16 beta that we're testing out when it comes to mac os 13 and basically safari technology preview 152 includes bug fixes and performance improvements for web inspector and also does have css accessibility rendering javascript and web api and of course this does include most of the new features and changes that are supported on safari when it comes to mac os 13 monterey so that includes features such as live text passkey and so on so 
Safari 16.1. We are officially testing it on beta when it comes to Mac OS 13 beta 6 going forward. That is something that's good. Also, this is something that you might be interested in that has been updated it's the system version for M1 based Mac. So on beta 6, the version that we have is 8419.40.33.01. And on the previous beta 5, we had 4 8419.40.2.0.5 so that has been updated there's also a new change when it comes to the wallet and also a new bug that i'll show you later on there's an issue every time i open up my settings you can see it always reverts to appearance for some reason if you go into your wallet and apple pay right here you'll be able to see a new notification when you open it up for the first time for me since i was you know just browsing and seeing what are the changes when it comes to this setting there's a new notification pop-up that you can always turn on and that is something that i just thought i should put out there also when it comes to the settings app in general there have been some new minor wording changes and one major one that i did notice here is if you go into general and you go to the section where you update your mac you will notice that the profiles where we have the developer beta or public beta it has been relocated so if you go into where it says privacy and security and all go down to where it says others that's where profiles is and this is where you are going to be able to manage your profiles and and it makes sense though why they had to put it in privacy because if you have third party profiles that have full access to your Mac then that can be a security concern so just minor changes to the settings there's also been font changing and reorder management because apparently so many people aren't happy when it comes to this Safari um, this settings app change it seems like now it's a bit harder to find and relocate certain functions it almost gives it a windows or ipad like look so uh, there's been a few complaints already to apple when it comes to this setting so somehow somewhat apple is always trying to tweak things and make them simpler there are some resolved issues that this update has the first one has to do with in mail i won't open it because if i do you will see a lot of emails that i have but um, th this update does resolve an issue where highlighted search snippets might stay highlighted after closing the search box so you would open up your mail search for a specific email or specific phrase and obviously you know how the mail app highlights that once you close the search box some text would somehow stay highlighted but that issue has been resolved with this update and also there's a resolved issue when it comes to the software update for mac os 13 beta 6 going forward where some users that are on mac os 11 might not be able to check for an update or update to mac os 13 going forward so that issue has been resolved and of course this update being a beta a beta always has issues and bugs and it does have some issues that i want to mention to you the first one has to do with the battery drains yes so this update we do have a number of complaints when it comes to the battery drain for a number of users and it seems to be related to some settings that you can set like for example in the mail app when you schedule a send later message sometimes you when you put your mac to sleep and that has been sent it does somehow use quite a lot of uh, power in the background and that can drain your battery when it comes to this update i did get a number of requests from people that were not able to update to the developer beta 6 that was released today and not just the developer betas and this was both affecting intel base mac and apple silicon mac so that eventually got resolved for most of the users but if you are having issues sometimes rebooting your device or resetting your smc does help a little bit so that's something that i should put out there and also again when it comes to the wallet the american express card might need to be removed and re-added after beta 6 and later on so that is something that you might need to do uh, if you use the american express card and when you go into the 
app store and try to download multiple application or update your existing applications there are issues where sometimes you might be asked for multiple consent and this seems to be a bug that's here on beta 6 and apple does know of this issue other than that guys those seems to be the issues that are here obviously we know that this is going to be a delayed update and if i was to open up my calendar here you can see that today being the 25th and mac os 13 being on a two-week release cycle we can sort of expect the next release to be somewhere between um september the 6th to september the 8th usually the, uh, in a two week period then that's when we are going to expect mac os 13 beta 7 and when it comes to like the ios 16 release we do know that the apple event is going to take place on the 7th of september so after this event we are going to be getting ios 16 rc or release candidate version and on around this week the week of the 30th to the 1st of september look forward to receiving ios 16 beta 8 and also watch os 9 beta 8 as well now when it comes to this update being officially released i would say sometime between mid to late october that's when we might get this update released and if sources are correct that seem to point out that we might have a mac event and an ipad event later on in october perhaps when we get the invites then we'll be able to come out with a more what correct date when this update will be released but certainly it is a delayed update when it comes to performance you can see my previous three updates including beta 6 that I have updated to so for beta 6 you can see that for single core I had a score of 1360 and for multi core I had 8517 comparing this to beta 5 you can see that beta 5 was both beta or higher on both single core and multi core so far beta 5 had the highest multi core score almost reaching 10,000 points and you can see that this update beta 6 is somewhat very close to or similar to beta 4 so i somehow what know the reason why this is so this is because i was testing this update in um, somewhat warm environment so that could be a reason why my geekbench score is slightly lower compared to beta 5 but always when it when beta 7 comes out i'll always test this out to see whether it does improve with a cooler environment now other than that guys this is how this update came in for me if you like this video do leave a like and stay safe and i'll see you in the next video peace